Life and welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha or you can call me OG. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, so today um, I am going to be doing the natural hair tag. It's called It's My Hair because it's mine, it's my hair. There's 20 questions and um, I feel like this is a perfect tag to do for my channel, seeing as though I just did um, my first natural hair tutorial or just a video. And so I thought it would be cool to do an actual tag about my natural hair. And I'm, I keep looking down at my phone because I'm looking at the questions. But there are 20 questions and so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, the first question is why did you start your hair journey? Um, I went natural um, right after I graduated college um, back in 2012. And um, I think that I had realized that... Um, I don't know, I was just tired of like the relaxers. I was tired of um, trying to like meet up to these like unrealistic European beauty standards. Um, I literally wanted healthy hair, but I also wanted to embrace um, my natural hair pattern, my natural hair curl, and I really didn't want healthy hair. Like my hair was super thin and I thought that if I was gonna go natural, it would get thicker. It, it didn't, it didn't get thicker. So that's what made me start my natural hair journey. Um, yeah. How long have you been on your natural hair journey? Um, it's been, so four years. It'll be five uh, next year, so it's been four years. I went natural in 2012, like I said, right after I graduated. I did the big chop though. Yeah, I did the big chop though, like, I wanna say, like three months later. So I cut off all the the relaxed ends and was rocking my little TWA. Um, so I would say officially um, it's been like four years. It'll be five in um, 2017, so next year. Are you relaxed, transitioning, or natural? I am natural. Um, what is your hair length now? So I'm glad that I actually decided to wear this out because I can just pull this down. Um, so probably like a bra strap maybe. A little lower though. So right there. Um, my hair has grown a lot. Like the thing is like I have no problem with my hair growing but it just does not get thicker. And I wish that it would. So yeah that's that's where my hair is. It's, it's a nice length for me right now. Um, what is your length goal? I don't have one. What is your hair texture? I would say um, it's a whole bunch of texture. So I would say there's some 4A up here. There's also some like 4B in there somewhere. But I would say it's like a combination of 4A and 4B. Um, yeah, it, it might be a little 3C, like right in the like front, front, very front of my hair, but it's mostly 4A, just type 4 hair in general, I would say. It's definitely um, kinky, curly, yeah, coily, like that, yeah. What do you prefer, health or length? Health, for sure. Like, I just told y'all, I don't care if my hair never grows um, long. I want my hair to be healthy, and that was, like I said, that was the, that was the reason why I went natural in the first place. I wanted my hair to um, be super healthy, be thick. Um, and so health is always the number one goal. If you could only live with one product, what would it be? My As I Am Coconut Co-Wash Conditioner. Like hands down, it is, uh, it's just amazing. It has great, um, slip so like makes the process of finger detangling so easy and so fast because it really like detangles your hair and conditions in it and conditions it really well. It being able to clean my hair and condition and detangle my hair is just like amazing. That does it for me. What's the worst product you've ever used? Um, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like it would be a product that I wouldn't remember because I 
didn't like it. You feel me? Like, I feel like I wouldn't even remember it because I didn't like it. So, I'm gonna have to skip that question. I really can't think of anything that I've hated. Um, when I don't like something, I just kind of don't really like make an effort to like remember it. So, yeah. <laughs> what is your go-to hairstyle? This, a wash and go. Um, I, and I don't know if this is because I'm just doing something wrong, but like, I feel like since my hair is so thin and fine, certain styles don't look right on me. Like, I feel like twist outs don't look right. Braid outs don't look right. Um, and the only style that I feel like I can wear for at least a month straight is a wash and go. And it just saves me a lot of, a lot of time and effort. Um, okay. Are you a product junkie? No, I used to be though. I used to be when I first um, um, went natural. I used to buy everything because I wanted to try everything out, right? Like when you're natural, you want to um, test out what your hair likes, what you like. Um, and it's, you know, it's just kind of like a common, uh, a common like thing when you go natural. Like you want to try everything out. You become a product junkie, but I'm definitely not anymore. I have figured out what my hair likes and I stick with it. And I, I feel like that would be my biggest advice for folks who are going natural. Like don't fall into like the habit of keep keep testing out products because you will just get really bad at it. But no, I'm not, I'm not product junkie anymore. I figured out what I love and how often do you trim your ends? I'm really bad at this. I will, I'm really bad at this. I would probably say like once a year. I know it's really bad. Um, I don't know how to. And when I first went natural, I was trimming my ends like every, honestly, like every three months. Like I was pretty good with it. Um, and and that's when I was like wear rocking my natural hair like all the time and so I was really into like really into like taking care of it and I felt like after a while um I got into a protective styles I got into wigs I got into like um weaves and all that good stuff and I was like you know what my hair is cool up under here I ain't gotta do nothing to it so um now I have to get into a routine of, of making sure that I care for my natural hair when I am wearing wigs because you just kind of you know you, you kind of forget about it um, which is bad, but I don't know how to actually trim my hair. Um, so I don't, I don't do it, but I know that I need to. I probably will go before the year ends out. I did get it trimmed, um, last September. So it's been a little over a year, but I will go probably before, um, before Christmas to get at least trimmed. I want to get it straightened, but I'm really scared, so. Yeah. Oh, that leads into the next question. Cool. How often do you use heat? Um, I don't. I honestly, I flat ironed my hair for the first time last year um, since I had gone natural. So that last year was my third year being natural. Yeah, my third year being natural. And I flat ironed my hair the first time ever. And um, I would never do it again. Um, because I had I got heat damage just from that one time. Like that's how frustrating and thin my hair is. I don't even know if that has anything to do with my thin hair, but it could have just been like the heat protecting that the stylist was using. Like I was so mad. Like I was honestly depressed. Like I was like, I wanna cut all my hair off depressed. But I ended up just kinda like chalking it up, like whatever. It honestly was it just was a middle part up here and some pieces back here. But I feel like I've been able to sort of restore it a little bit, to be honest. I used a lot of deep conditioners afterwards. And I don't know if that helped, but I feel like it may have helped in bringing it back to its natural curl. But I don't use heat because I'm so afraid of getting heat damage. And I really want to though, like I want to see how long my hair has gotten. And last year when I did flat iron it, um, it was super long. So I know it's grown a lot now and I do want to get a trim. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, like I just, I don't want to get heat damage. And I feel like a lot of stylists here in my city don't know how to take care of natural hair and don't know what products to use. Um, so 
and I'm trying to look for someone who actually knows how to take care of natural hair and knows how to like, I don't know, use heat, but also like not cause heat damage, you feel me? So I don't know, we'll see. Do you take any supplements? No, I have never taken any supplements. I mean, I take like regular hair, skin, and nail vitamins. Um, so I guess that would count, but I don't take like hair affinity or anything, and I never have. Um, I'm sure it works. Oh, no, I don't take I don't take supplements. No, I don't. Um, what is your favorite oil? I really love coconut oil. I feel like that's everybody loves coconut oil. You can put coconut oil on anything. Um, but I love coconut oil. I also love avocado oil. I've also used jojoba oil. But I feel like, um, what's that oil called? I feel like, um, coconut oil is like my probably most used oil. Who is your hair crush? Um, I don't know. I feel like most of my hair crushes are YouTubers. Like, I really love. I've always loved Mahogany Curls. Her hair is bomb. Um, Whitney's Natural um, 85. Her hair is bomb. Um, there's a couple others that I really love. But I feel like most of my hair crushes are YouTubers. Those are the people that I used to watch um, when I went natural and they have aided in my natural hair journey um, thus far. Uh, and so those are probably my hair crushes. How long does it take you on a wash day? I would say at least two hours maybe. The part that takes me the most time is detangling. Um, Cause I finger detangle and then I I um, actually use a, a comb to detangle. Like it just takes me a long time to detangle. And I all, when I wash, I always do a wash and go. Or I'll wash it and I'll twist it up so that I can prep my hair for, you know, wigs or something. But for the most part, it's the, it's the detangling process that takes so freaking long. It just, it takes a long ass time. I've heard the dimming brush is like a lifesaver. So I'll probably get it eventually. I feel like a fake natural, since I don't have it. Like who doesn't have a dimming brush? I don't have one. I just use a regular ass comb in my fingers. But it's definitely the detangling process. It takes me so long. What's the worst thing that's ever happened to your hair? So this summer I got crochet braids and I was like in the process of taking them down. And you know how like, uh, basically you cut it out, you cut out, well you don't cut it out, but you cut at the knot so that it's just easier. I made a mistake and like actually cut the braid. And so I cut my hair obviously. And you probably can like see. <laughs> you can. That's so funny. So this is where my hair, I cut my hair. But it's growing y'all, it's like actually growing because it used to be like, like to my scalp. And it's like, it's growing. It's like, I got me a little bang and shit. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Um, but yeah, I cut my hair and I was so mad. Like I literally was about to cry when I, I was like, cause I felt, I felt myself cut it. And I was like, oh my God, like what did I just do? What did I just do? What did I just do? But whatever. Sometimes I like freak out over like stuff and then I realize like it's just hair. Like whatever, man. It's gonna grow back. Do you dye your hair? And if so, what color? I have that's another thing. I have not dyed my hair at all since I've been natural. I've wanted to, I've definitely wanted to, but I don't know what color would look nice on me. I don't know. I just I don't know what what like like what kind of dye to use that's like not harmful. I just haven't done much research about actually dye dyeing my hair or dyeing natural hair. Um, but I wouldn't mind dyeing it. I've always wanted to. Um, I told myself at the beginning of the year that I was gonna cut all my hair off in December, and December is like in a couple days. So. I said that when I dyed it, or excuse me, I said that when I cut it, and I was gonna dye it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like so scared. Like, I'm, I was thinking like, why did I say that? Why did I say that I was gonna cut my hair? But I kinda, I still kinda want to, but I feel like my head is too big <laughs> for me to just cut it all off. Like, I need something. Like, can y'all imagine me without hair? Like, I would look like, who did it and why? I don't know about it. I don't know why I said that. I think I just saw a lot of people cutting their hair and I was like, look, so cute. 
but I don't think it's gonna look right on me. I don't know, but last question, uh, who do you tag? I would tag all of you all that are natural, um, especially my subscribers or my subscribers that are YouTubers. Um, so um, if you are natural, I tag you to do this tag. Um, and preferably, you know, wear your natural hair, girl. Let me see what them curls look like. Um, but yeah, that's that's all the questions. Um, I hope that you all enjoy this video. I Hopefully I will be able to do more natural hair videos. I'm not sure I wear a lot of protective styles and it is getting cooler outside. So I don't know if I'll be wearing my hair out a lot because it's, it's cooler and I wanna make sure that my hair is protected. I did buy a new unit so I will be reviewing that soon um and showing you all how i style that and so i wanted to before i did that i just wanted to come on here and show you all my natural hair before moving on to a new unit um, i will keep you up with my natural hair journey i feel like it's not really a journey anymore like this is just my life now um and there's nothing really different or there's nothing new that i've been incorporating to my routine because i've just been natural for so long so but if there is i will keep you all updated um if there's some products that i'm loving that my hair is loving i will let you all know um so yeah thank you all for watching um i hope you all have a great day and i will see you all in the next video in the meantime protect your face peace